Hey, I want to talk to you about menu anchors. This is really, really versatile way of allowing the user to jump to different pages of your page whenever they want, but they could also jump to another page in your website. But I want to show you a couple of things you need to bear in mind, especially if you have a sticky header on another page. But let me just go through the fundamentals of how this works. You've got a website and you might have lots of different sections up and down the page and you want to allow the user to jump from say, uh, the top of the page or the middle of the page to another section. Here's how you would do it. I am going to scroll down here to the very last one here and we're just gonna call, we're just gonna change this to one to be section four like that. Above the title, I'm gonna do a search for anchor, menu anchor. And I'm just gonna drop this in like that. You could drop it like, um, you could have another section above here and just drop it in there if you want it to appear above the section or maybe you want it just to appear very close to the wording, it's up to you. I'm going to call this page one. I know it's a really stupid name, isn't it? I, you, you would probably give it a better name, but I'm just going to call it page one. Now, whatever you call it, make note of the casings. If you put capital P, make sure you remember that, okay? But I'm just going to go with page one in lowercase. Cool. Let's update that. I'm now going to go all the way back to the top of my uh, website, and I'm going to add another section over here. I'm just gonna have two columns and I'm going to add in a button. In fact, you can do this with a button, with a link, with an icon list, with practically anywhere where you get to put in a link. Now this button, I'm gonna go over to it and where it says link, it has hashtag, leave the hashtag in and I'm gonna type in page one, like that. That's literally it. Hashtag whatever was your menu anchor name. So if we now preview that and I click it, it's gone down to section four. Now you're probably saying it hasn't gone all the way down to section four. No, and that's because underneath section four, there was nothing else. So have a think about your padding and your margin and all of that. So if I was to go back over here, in case anyone right now is watching this and going, huh, that did not work. Let me just show you, okay. Let me just add in about a thousand there to the bottom of that. Let's go back over to our page, okay. Refresh the preview. And then when we now click that, section four and can you see it's gone right to the top because that's where the menu anchor was so if we had put the menu anchor in a section above that or we had given it a bit of spacing it would it probably would not have taken us all the way there again let me just demonstrate that let's go back into our menu anchor which is here and i'm going to add in a bit of spacing from the bottom let's just go with about 40 okay something like that let's update that let's go back over here let's hit fresh there and look, can you now see we have a 40 pixel difference? So you could add it to a section or you could add some bottom margin. However, there is a limitation to this in terms of when you jump to another page. I will come back onto that, but I've just demonstrated how we could using a link, well, the menu anchor hashtag, we could add it in here. You could even do it with an icon list. You know, I mean, you could do it with anything. Anything where you're allowed to have a link, you could even stick in an image, right? Look, let's just stick in an image. We're not actually gonna have an image, by the way. I'm just showing you, look, the image. Down here, you have the link, you do custom URL, and you would go for hashtag uh, page one, like that, and if we update that, okay, we go back over here, and I click it, it's gonna take me to section four, okay? So this is really, really versatile. However, could you do this as a, um, a menu option on your website? Yes, of course you can. Now, if you're gonna do it as a menu option, what you need to do is get your URL and remember what the page name is as well. So I'm gonna go over here to appearance and I'm gonna to go to uh, menus. And I'm just gonna create a new menu for, for what we're doing here at the moment, right? Uh, no, we'll just gonna, I'm just gonna call it a test menu, okay? Test menu, yeah, we'll do that. And in test menu, I am going to scroll down over here, rather than using the pages I already have, I'm actually gonna create a custom, in fact, no, look, let's just do a few pages. Let's just pick some in, like new page, marquee, page scroll. Let's add some in there, okay? These are my test pages. I then go down to custom links, and in custom links, I'm gonna paste in my URL, I'm gonna put in the name of the page that I'm actually building this on, and I'm then gonna put, uh, well, I'm using forward slash as well, so forward slash page name, the page was called query, forward slash hashtag, page one, oops, let's do that properly. I'm gonna do page one like that, 
Okay. Um, and I'm now going to call this, um, I'm going to call it, I don't know, let's just call it uh, S4, like that. And I add that to the menu. That is now a link in our menu that's going to take us to a location on the page. Now, while we're here, I am going to just add in another page. So I've added in another page, but this now has got um, hashtag page two, because I want to show you the limitation that you just need to be aware of. And I'm just going to call this one. Uh, page two and we're going to add that to the menu as well. Okay, let's just save that Okay, let's go back over to our query page. It's got to refresh the page So it just to make sure it pulls through the navigation menu we got there Let's get rid of that and I'm now just going to bring over the navigation menu We'll just drop it in there and I'm going to pick test menu. Okay, so look pretty simple what we've done there, right? Let's update that and let's preview it and you should kind of know what this is going to do now, to be honest. I mean, look, these are obviously going to take you to pages in our website where we do testing. But when I hit section four, did you see that? So you can have a custom link there with your menu anchor. It is super easy and simple to do. You can't go wrong with this, okay? But here I have another link. So watch what happens when I click it. It takes us to another page and there is a page two menu anchor over here. But let me just show you the problem. If I go to the edit for this page, here's the section and here's a section two. This section here with the white background is a sticky header. OK, so let's just go to motion effects. Look, it's a sticky top, right? Sticky header, whatever you want to call it. OK, sticky section, sticky, sticky, right? Section two has this image of a lady or someone in front of a sci fi scene. Can you see the space above her at the moment? Uh, this section is set to be a top and the menu anchor is here and it's called page two. Remember, uh, lowercase p, so I, so I ensured that's why I put a lowercase p when I did the custom URL. But look what happens when I go to the page. Because the menu anchor is right at the top of the section and that is a sticky header, it's gone behind the sticky header, right? Because the sticky header is sticky. So it's gone literally behind. So how do you stop that? It is very, very simple and easy to do. I'm going to go over to my section here and I'm just going to set this to be um, a minimum height of, let's just go with, um, let's just leave it as 180. Right, we'll leave that as a 180, okay? And then I'm going to go to my menu anchor. This is page two, okay? This is what it's called. You go to advanced, you scroll down and you go to custom CSS and this is all it is. So I'm saying hashtag page two because that's the because that's the menu anchor, right, that I'm touching. Display block, position relative and top minus 200. I'm going to change this to be, um, in fact, we'll leave it as 200. Even though it's a 180 height, in fact, I won't do 180. It's got to be 180. There we go. I don't know why I said don't leave it as 200. Anyway, we're going to go with the 180 because that's the height of the header. Let's now update that, okay? Let's now go back over to our page. Let's go back to page one. Look, section four does what it needs to do. Let's scroll back to the top. We're back in page two, and now the lady's head is not kind of like half missing because of the sticky header overlapping onto it. By you adding in a little bit of an offset onto your menu anchor, which is what this code was doing here, right? It now means that we're getting the look that I intended for it to be. So menu anchors on the same page, brilliant. You can add it to any link, button, uh, a menu, whatever you want to do, you can do that. If you're going to have it go to another page, that is absolutely fine. But if you've got a sticky header, you may want to offset it. And if there was no sticky header, you would not need to do this, okay? You would have just done the same thing we did everywhere else where you use hashtag. So if you've got a menu anchor and you call it Web Squadron, your your link would be hashtag web squadron. If it's going to page X, it would be your URL forward slash page X forward slash hashtag web squadron. This is so simple and easy to use. So we've covered quite a lot off in menu anchors. Okay, and how you can use it, how you can add it to your menu and how you can offset it as well. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.